Okay, I think we're recording. Hello, everybody on YouTube. That watches this channel anyway. Um, yesterday, I was working with the uh, excavator and started on this tree line here in front of me and ended up snapping a fitting off of a thumb line out there, one of those external thumb lines. And I just absolutely just barely touched that thing. So I got a new hose made, had the same fitting done, but uh, you guys can probably see us once it blow out those little hoses. Anyway, no harm, no foul, but that's why you guys are looking through a blurred windshield, because I uh, just wiped it off and wanted to wipe off oil. It's tough to do. I we got a mobile power washer, I can dead clean stuff right up with it. Anyway, started on this other tree line. I was hauling more material with that military truck, which you guys can see here in this uh, next clip. But what happened was, is we warmed up just enough because it gets up to like 28 each day here. It doesn't really melt, but it just turns the liquid soup. And it's just kind of one of those regions of the United States that's not warm enough to dry up and uh, melt off. But at the same time, it doesn't stay frozen. Anyway, but good weather to be doing this in. If it's a little cooler, it can it'd freeze. I can run the truck still, but uh, I don't really have enough motivation on this particular job to be up at 2 in the morning doing that. Anyway. stockpiling some material next to the edge of this ditch here and this is a typical southwest Iowa ditch and, <laughs> and you can see there's a tile line right there which I'm gonna go check out next and the ditch comes around it's kind of straight over there and it's got this big loop right here in it and you can see this banks just really starting to cut well it's probably because of that tree and you know that's gonna get pushed over further and further truth is that tree needs to be cut out there I'll be straightened up but I don't know if it's legal to straighten these currents out. I don't, I've don't. i heard it's not, even though I don't think it would ever check, but there's no need to go to all that work. We'll just put a little bit of that material down in here. Easy peasy, and uh, it, nature will take care of itself. I see somebody's got a little bridge down there in the woods. I suppose there's a deer stand around here someplace. And uh, interesting enough, there's my, uh, this will focus, my aluminum, uh, tile outlet pipe which has been cut off which can only lead to one assumption that somebody's cut it off of this tile outlet and I think that most of those used to be aluminum so they're probably gonna steal it well, I was hoping to get this to burn today this has been sitting here for about a year it's really dry wood there's a little bit of snow blowing down in it though but you get down underneath it there's really not much snow so maybe a little bit of a uh, igniting fluid here i.e. diesel. Get her going a little bit better. Get a little pump up sprayer. It's amazing what a gallon of diesel will do. Food of Iowa that watches this channel knows that there's snow on the ground here. In eastern Iowa there's not. So that's just kind of just playing hell with everything I need to be doing outside. But uh, as long as I can be doing this, all is good. And I keep getting uh, requests for different camera angles. And yes, I will get set up outdoors. Yes, I will. Get some better awesome videos of excavating going but when i had to fix a hose and everything else i uh didn't get around to getting that great of a video here today but uh at least let you guys know uh what's kind of going on i've been uh in the office here all last week dealing with the bullshit and uh yeah, get to that here in a sec but uh dealing with bullshit but this weather is just so relentless this year and just not not pleasant in any way uh any shape or form there we go how's, it, how's that anyway um this water this year sucks so you know my day and, and god it wasn't dark like four four in the afternoon anymore 450 it's just pathetic so 
get stuff done and sit in the office trying to work and everything else is lots of fun to do. But uh, just next to impossible. Uh, I'll be glad 2018 is done. Hopefully 2019 is a better year. Uh, if you follow my channel on a regular basis, you're going to know that I have had a loss of a case and had some mysteriously disappearing videos. Um, four of the case 25th review is because my lawyer meant to take him down, but that guy's no longer my lawyer because these lawyers are all just a bunch of money-hungry crooks and don't do a fucking thing where they're lazy. I think I can look up a little shit on Google myself and what the hell they actually will do. Just because you take 300 times to pass your bar, then you're in, you think you're God. watch my videos right here, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to talk about any more of that here. Uh, just, I'll have more videos in the future. Maybe more about that specifically. But whatever you do, don't, don't buy case those. Total piece of shit. <laughs> uh, that piece of wood is really frozen out there. Damn. It's rotted into the ground or something. It froze down. Anyway, uh, things that have been going on besides lawyer hunting and uh, high anxiety because of the lawyer hunting and the food concrete bullshit that comes with the lawyer hunting. Um, and I'm not operating all the day. It's all the keyboard jockeys can good beat me up on today's video. Oh, break me sucker. Yep, I've had a lot of videos where guys have complaints about everything I do um, as far as excavation work. You know, it's interesting how they complain because I've had a few of them. And I've tried to say, "Well, since you're such a master, you know, come out here, I'll hire you and run my equipment." None of them will ever show up. None of them will ever put their money where their mouth is. I don't know if that's just a new thing in 2018 or something's been like progressively. You know, I was, as a kid, you know, back in the 90s, we never did that kind of shit. Of course, there really wasn't the internet like it is today. But there was a menagerie of trees here. And anybody from the Midwest knows the trees grow in these farm fields. They just kind of break right out from 6,000 feet. got a video from me for a few days. Like I said, it's because I've been in the office and the days are short and there's a few other problems. Apologize for that. Hopefully that all gets resolved here soon. Um, I got several things I've purchased. A couple more things I'm going to be purchasing. So, that gave you a lot of moves in the one video there I did the other day. And uh, I'm not going to let any more cats out of the bag. ride with and see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. The, the moves I'm going to make are hopefully going to ensure financial security for at least the next 10 years, you know, which is a nice comfort feeling to have. Obviously, you're going to buzz your ass just because farming's that bad right now. But, uh, that's fine, you know, I do anyway. And we'll have at least some sort of safety net to set ourselves in. That was my goal. And no, I'm not getting rid of the fan. Absolutely not. I love that tractor. Absolutely. take off a layer of what I call dirty dirt, just full of debris and shit, just nasty junk in it. Most of the time the thumb gets all of it, but you know, I just spend the time digging and picking through roots. Maybe a root 
brakes are working on those. So I mentioned uh, looking for a dozer, looking for an excavator. I think I've got an excavator found. Might have something to do with this one. Actually, it's not this particular shipkeeping, but that's all I'll say for right now. It's almost like a foot on I do like the Volvos. Fast, powerful, easy to work on. The ergonomics are good. The uh, general layout, servicing is good. The design's good.
think everything's going to work out fine for the long run. The excavation work really over the past uh, five years is, I mean, well, I actually should say since about 2015, uh, half, 2016 area, you can see it starts to drop off some three years. Uh, just because that's, you know, I think commodities only started going around 13. You can just start to see guys and start to trim back a little bit. You know, and that's where you're seeing the pastures being busted over and all that kind of stuff. Stop doing that. I uh, was actually still growing despite, and that's because I was taking on commercial work. But the problem with commercial work is you got to be really efficient and you got to be good. And, uh, Maybe despite, or despite maybe one guy I had working, um, it was uh, it was just impossible to get help. And there's nothing more a sinking feeling in the world than to bite off something that maybe you feel off a little more you can chew, or to bite off something for higher help ends up quitting about mid mid shift. And uh, you know you can't we're not in the city where you can just throw up the paper and get 200 applicants that week. You know, it's, it's going to be hard to get anybody around here, period, especially anybody you get it. And I think that problem persists everywhere, which, again, if you follow me, you know my complaints and employees. So, anyway, that's uh, all things in the past. It's just my father and mother now. That's it. That's what the budget will work with. Because I'll tell you what, when you sell a 10,000 bushel of corn for 360, the little damn bin only brings 30, you know, a little over 30 grand of old crap. And it's not going to go very far when you got $260 a bag of seed corn. And uh, speaking of that, the seed corn guy was out the other day, and Jesus, talk about crap your pants when you can see those birds. Today is second season shotgun on deer, so if there's any deer hunters tuning into this, well, you're probably out hunting, but if there are any deer hunters tuning into this, I, I'm pretty sure it's second season shotgun on deer in Iowa. They said somebody should going to use long, long, long cartridges too. I don't, I don't deer hunt. I don't, I don't care for the meat taste. I mean, just a personal thing. I don't know. Just mix of hamburgers, okay. I don't know. It'd be all right, but hey, if I can clean up this farm and make this thing more farmable instead of going and shooting an animal to save 150 bucks on the hamburger, I'm gonna probably just stay out here working. I, I just, uh, I don't know. I hate the damn animals. I wish you could just shoot them here around. But as far as going on that exotic cold weather hunt out there, and walking 10 miles in the snow or rain, or and uh, deer eyes. Me. That's a personal, so if you watch the channel, don't be offended by it. That's just that is my that is my personal take on. I think going forward with agriculture, I think it's going to be a good good for me. You know, I think it's going to be a good life. Oh. 
fence rows, they, uh, they get built up. And then you come under the dozer and you know, start cutting two and a half, three feet of dirt out there and smooth the fields up. And you know, you kind of whisk these roots in or cut them out and you're peeling down, you're peeling down to a layer that shit you didn't take the escort and cut three feet out of here. And then you mix up all your topsoil out oh, there. That's what you need to do is have like a stick rake on the dozer just to make it to the final passes. But again, I'm making a better farm out of it. That's again the life that I want going forward. You know, kind of, that's again being there, uh, one on the farm we wrote a deal on I think it's on his channel or something. I saw something that said life only really begins to tap over. And that's so true. He's had a you know, um, similar life events. I'm not quite as old as he uh, it's, it is true, you realize it's kind of just begins when it's half over, and that was my particular series of events that uh, took me where I'm at, but this farm life, it, it's a good life, that's what I grew up, so I know um, it's a life that with modern day things seems to be something that's kind of not only forgotten, but I think there's a lot of things against it, which are all things I rant about in my daily dogs or several hours of this. Um, I got a brush pile up here behind me that I've probably put 20 gallon fuel on it. It's been down for a year and a half. I can not get that damn thing to burn. Um, this pile of dirt right here is where I open this up. And I guess it is burning. Let's see if I can take you guys around here. I'll be sitting out there. I'm just trying to burn a little bit. I'm really crapping. I might go through a little more diesel. But I guess some coals I think it'll be good. I really need to get that burn. doing this I'm gonna have some more better videos coming uh, from different angles and stuff and uh, you know, stuff you're requesting bear with I am like yeah I'm at a bullshit level here with some office work meaning like lawyer crap and other stuff uh, I think there's like four court cases going on right now the two are to deal with case which I can sue now but I think Callie's got her gift shit dad suit supposed to carry each other, uh, health insurance, all this crap with the kids, it's not, so she's had a long vacation or anything, yeah, but those, you know, not big things, but they're just paying the ass to deal with, and I got an ex-wife that I have no clue what she wants now, but now she's filed something on me the other day, I see, it came across the email, and, uh, I don't know if she's moving or something, I have no I have uh, graced her with for, uh, uh, you know, basically giving it in. There's nothing else that she can possibly take at this point. So, what a bitch. <laughs> I hate court systems. I hate lawyers. It's crooked. If you don't have a shit ton of money, you're fucked. How the hell a ten dollar hour? supposed to get justice, I don't know, I get it, but damn, it's, it's so screwed. Anyway, I'll go ahead and cut the video, I'm just rambling today anyway, um, like I say, stay tuned for more stuff, it's coming up, that'll be better, maybe even start to go get some of this equipment, um, this week, if the weather allows, I don't know, it's a possibility do that. I'd like to start getting something picked up. And um, I, don't know, I got a lot to do. The weather has sucked and actually kind of killed my motivation to surgery. 
agree. And uh, I've got a lot of things to consider here going forward. I'll bring you guys along for all of that and more. Explain it as it is. Hopefully the channel just keeps on going and growing and then going.